Hello and welcome to the next tutorial on the Kurzweil Forte Stage Piano Workstation Synthesizer. Today we will look upon the funds in program mode. So what are the funds? Funds are like a melting pot for controllers, for modulation sources, as well as for numbers, actually constants. Let's have a look at a program I made. It's for a quite famous song and it sounds like this. You know it. Okay. Let's have a look at the LFO plus page. You see the LFOs, the ASRs and the funds. So what does a fun do? You have two inputs, A and B and you have a function. So fun means function. The function is actually some kind of a mathematical operation. There are simple ones like a minus b, a plus b. You see it. Multiplied by b. A lot of options. Crazy actually. So for example you could use it to combine the mod wheel and the expression pedal and say a plus b and that means this function will just add the value of the mod wheel and the value of the cc pedal. So if there are both to 10 it will add it to 20. And now you can add this fun in the DSP modulation page. So you control a parameter with two controllers because you combined it with this fun. So this is the most basic operation of a fun, just adding controllers. You could also add A number from off, which means zero, to zero point ninety nine and on, which means one. So you have constants, negative constants, and all your modulation sources of the vast synthesis, as well as the MIDI CCs. All can be combined in a fun with a mathematical operation. So let's give me an example of what a fun can do. For this program, I set up this fun too. Input A is on, input B is just a random generator. And the function is sample B on A. I didn't find that out. <laughs> I hooked up to mastering was to the board. I asked the question, how can I achieve a pitch alteration that stays on that pitch? So I don't want an LFO that modulates the pitch, but I want a random pitch when I press the key and then it should stay at this pitch to achieve a pitch drift, like an analog drift. And some genius there, they tell me this is the fun to do it. Input A on, the random generator of course, so it takes the value of the random and it stays there. Let's have a look at this. We will solo the layer no one now. Just a single layer, and this is the fun too. It affects the pitch of this sample, it's a sample, to minus 10 cents. Let's exaggerate that to plus 1200, and now we can hear what it does. So it 
randomly affects the pitch, but it stays there. And if you do it subtle, very subtle, then it gets this little analog drift sound with this fun. So let's get back to the LFO page and let's explore sample B on A. Let's say I want to affect it with the velocity. Somewhere here, global attack velocity. Let's go back. Let's exaggerate it again. And now. It samples it to my attack velocity. So that's what a fun basically do. It combines controllers, it combines modulation sources and constants, values, numbers and process it through a mathematical function, a mathematical operation. Dave Weiser once told me he uses this exact fun, sample B on A, for his roads patches to alter the mechanical noises. So let's have a look at that. This one is from Dave. Let's have a look. Yes, here it is. Fun one. Yes. He randomly alters the level of the mechanical noises with this exact fan. Let's have a look at press lead. There is the fun tool, mod wheel plus mono pressure, the aftertouch, A plus B. Just as we talked before, it just combines those two modulation sources. They are both for vibrato. So on DSP modulation, on the saw pitch, we have the fun too, altering the death of the LFO. So with this fun, you can control the LFO death with both controllers. You could even, if you take a fun as an input, you could even add a controller more to have three controllers controlling this parameter. So let's have a look what the inputs can be. And I bet I don't know all of them. The constants, roll off, mono pressure and mod wheel actually as an input, slider eye and switch five, all of the MIDI CCs, The channel state, mono pressure, pitch wheel, the data and mono pressure, data is slider A, volume control, balance control, pen, channel count, that means how many notes you actually play right now. You can use this as a modulation source. Don't know what that is. <laughs> The tempo, <laughs> the tempo, and you can tap it. Some clock, phase, the randoms, random one and random two. I think one of them just has a slightly lower amplitude, so it produces not so high values. I think the random one produces the high values, the random two, the low values. Note state, key state, key number, so the actual key number you play. Attack velocity, inverse attack velocity, poly pressure, it can recognize poly pressure. Release velocity, so how fast you release it. Random 
ASRs, all of these modulations, funds, LFO2, so you can route funds into funds, AMP envelope, all the envelopes, attack velocity, high and low key, and we are back at the constants. So this is huge. These are the funds. I hope I brought a little bit of light in this. So see you next time on the next tutorial on the Curse Forte. Goodbye.